thought you were going to say he um, he did he like checked the boxes for replays and stuff like that. They put us on live or just on the start end screen. Every day and every night, every night. I told him to. Is this love? Is this love? Uh, is they should this be used to it. Is this love that I'm feeling? Is this love? Is this love? Is this love? Is this love that I'm feeling? Is this love? Is this love? Is this love? Is this love that I'm feeling? I wanna go. You guys cool to go in in a second? Okay, probably in like a minute. Every day and every night, every night. Elmer's play. 
I'll probably get this matchup at some point in the playoffs. I bet this. So. Alright, transition over. Keep an eye out for me um, for CN's stream. Busy reading. Was I? What, what am I looking like? Do I look weird? No, you're good. You're good. Uh, I still see your laundry back there. Now. No, you don't. I moved it. That is just like a bunch of workout equipment that we don't use. Well, uh, welcome to week five. Yeah. Only two more weeks left in the season, so uh, we're getting there. And uh, we have a nice one for you today. Uh, the first place. Swamp Rabbits taking on the third place Sea Dogs tonight. Uh, not the first time that we've seen these two go at it, but um, still no rhymer in this one, but it's still going to yeah. be a really good game. So hopefully you're uh, tuning into this one. This is going to be a barn burner. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Of course, it looks like we're going to have to wait for the uh, see that Sarge and Rhymer rematch. Uh, Discord has been quiet between these two. Kind of more been focused on whatever injured reserve is saying, but the focus has been away from these two. You know what? Maybe the Sea Dogs are just biding their time. They've got two games in hand right now, and they're only three points out of first place. So, you know what? They might be waiting until they take that lead. Yeah, it's a tight race right now. Like, it's anybody's game. Uh, I mean, even just like between one and four, I think there's not really much many points between the two, or between the four of them, rather. Mm -hmm. So it's anybody's game right now, and I'm, I'm not sure. Uh, I think the are the Clappers in last place right now. Yeah, the they're Clappers in the are in last place, um, and probably gonna stay there, unfortunately. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Uh... Some okay. shade on Jay Whips too, right there. Oh my gosh, I love Jay. We all do, but you know, it's hard. They're all in LG. They're all in um, ACHL. They're in this league. Tuesdays are hard. Mondays are hard. Well, you know, think once... about it. there's almost two and a half games uh, left. I mean, that's that's like 32 points up for grabs, plus a few makeup games. I mean, that's plenty of time to get back in it. It and, is, uh, but that means you got to win them all, though. And I know they, the Clappers have lost their last five, but yeah, I think there's still plenty of time to snag a playoff spot. They just picked up two gems in free agency over the weekend, and uh, Stomps and ooh, why am I forgetting the other one? He's better. Uh, Obi Wan. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Oh, uh, those, yeah. two, those two own in other leagues, and uh, they have a lot of come together. Unfortunately, they can only play three games a week, but now uh, they're they're uh, they're two of some of the best now. Now, with that uh, game limit, can they actually be a legitimate player in the playoffs with how many games that are left? Um, they need 10 games still, even though they're limited by three. So um, it does not, unless they somehow play the makeup games, maybe they're allowed to. Um, the Clappers do have one makeup game to go, but I still think they're going to fall a little short. Okay. They can, though, one rule for um, our playoffs is that even if you aren't eligible to be considered a rostered player you could still play as a tc you just cannot play two consecutive games so if you play game one you can't play game two um and if you are a tc you can only play one tc at a time so uh that kind of gets a little tricky but it ends up working out um if you know someone drops last minute because a lot of our tcs either came in late and didn't make the game limit or they um are you know just around you know yeah hello uh, hello, hello what's up Ogie? Mm -hmm. I, just I, to, I just wanted to give a quick update um uh the seeds oh, fuck i can't speak the swamp rabbits might need to uh a bit gonna be running a bit behind okay okay so we're just waiting on uh, we're just pen. we're just waiting on her to yeah we'll probably it'll probably be resolving in a pen also, oh, no, <laughs> not another penalty. <laughs> TA, as long as there's not a lag out, you know, we're good. Oh, yeah. Oh, lag out to just kill it. No, let's can, not speak it. It won't happen. Yeah. <laughs> can TCs not play in game seven either? I do right. not believe so. That is true. I would go to. 
Ooh, it's my phone's blowing up. Uh, yeah, um, I just, did you get the lineup change jingle that Ram and Dad Smith just switched sides? Nope. I did get that. Yeah, thank you okay. uh, for doing that last minute. I appreciate that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I just wanted to make sure. No, nah, it's all good. I got you. Yeah, thank you. Um, I forgot what I was gonna say, but uh, mm-hmm. you have a Chad in net tonight. Chad, Chad, Daddy is in net. I saw it was Titanium Thong. I don't think I've ever heard that guy. Is that his first season in the league? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Not sure no, if you recognize the gamer tag. I don't recognize it either. This guy happens to run this league called Bear League. I don't know. You guys are streaming it tonight. So, uh, <laughs> oh, you mean like Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, two games a night? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They have some guy named <laughs> after a sandwich that plays in the league. What a fucking guy. 9945 EST. Yeah, you know? You know? Uh, I'm looking forward to this game, though, Hoagie. Yeah, same. This is like the third time we'll be on this matchup of the week, you know. No, just twice. Different players, though. Just twice, yeah. You get you got bumped for another spot uh, one week, so. Yeah, you know, yeah. Higher point, higher priority that week. Yeah, tone it down a notch here. Tone it down a notch. You guys are good, but uh, you know, I don't know. Swamp rabbits are in first right now, though. So I don't, you know. Yeah. These are crucial. It's crucial games. Yeah, we got. Um, What's it called? We got these guys, and then we got James's team tonight as well. Oh, okay. I mean, you, you never know. That, that, that could be a forfeit. You, you never know with them. So mm, They have a lineup. We'll see. Okay, it is Tuesday. It is an LG night, but um, it is the CHL is in, is in um, playoffs, though, and I'm pretty sure. Yeah, the Rangers got bounced in the first round, so I don't have to, uh, don't have to deal with that shenanigans anymore. Nice. Right. It's okay. I was well. I banged all bird guys and they're playing a team. It was essentially all bird guys, so we had both threes going, so we couldn't get a line for Thursdays, and then we had six to come back, couldn't get a line for Tuesdays. So I was looking like the injured reserve for like three weeks <laughs> and just forfeiting games all the time and it's hard being in multiple league, especially when they have the same night and they're play at the same time. Yeah, and then we and then we got we got lineups for playoffs and I I was in like a sweeper bust mentality because we only had enough guys and in, in that in this playoffs over there you can only play four with seven so we ran with like the same four guys for the first four games and if we didn't sweep we wouldn't it's have worked out so that's what me and broby did the other the other uh season is that we were just like we'll play our top guys if we can't do it we'll forfeit the rest because yeah. we're, <laughs> we're just kind of over it <laughs> yeah, it's nothing you, it's nothing you can do it almost worked out for you too <laughs> I we got this. well we got up two nothing on nashville and then we we had a good line going and then we just got ship pumped the next night so it was just it happens sometimes it's your night sometimes the momentum just shifts just literally yeah. sometimes the yeah. age just wants to not be on your side you know yeah no one cares about that week anyway <laughs> <laughs> our partner week achl uh, is CN streaming yet? I still don't see anything. He's not live yet. He just uh, double checked. Doesn't Hoagie, want uh, us to watch him in his dressing room, I guess. Well, we got you here. Uh, questionable uh, about your power play there. It's a. Uh, we don't talk about the power play. Okay? <laughs> you know, the power play that's run on the Sea Dogs, especially run by the Montreal Canadiens, because the, the power play also sucks, you know? Both these teams are pretty abysmal on special teams. <laughs> I mean, just, you know, I was hoping not to see any penalties tonight, but there's already gonna, there's already potentially one in the mix for a late start. So I'm, I am upset. My day is ruined. I am. It's okay, CN. It's it, not. Oh, jeez, it's not CN. It's okay, good. <laughs> I wish I was CN. <laughs> just capitalize on the power play. I'll end real soon. Hey, Swamp Rabbits draw the most penalties, and the Sea Dogs take the most. So. Um, I think this game's coming down to the goalie matchup, though. I don't know. We'll see if I... I've seen Chad just be lights out sometimes, and I hope we see that tonight because we've had some really good games that were really tight, and I hope this is another one. I was going to say, not seeing any heavy hitters in the lineup uh, for the Swamp Rabbits, but uh, JP Nasty JP has just been subbed in for G1 at uh, 
at right wing, so it's got interesting and a little bit tougher uh, for Chad. For sure. And Heartsey, we know, can definitely be a wall at times, so. I think every time I've played against him, he's, he's really kept the game close. It's usually always been a one or two goal game, so. Yeah, and he has like 50 shots on him. <laughs> he's, uh, he's making his debut in a new colors tonight. Uh, yeah. Played some defense uh, for them last night. But uh, I think he can really turn the season around now that he potentially has like some actual defense in front of him. He's had a rough go. Yeah. I mean, all his other games at goalie were coming from the Hogs, so. I think he was still pulling like almost an eight, you know, uh, yeah. eight point save or eight hundred save percentage. Just pretty decent, not bad. Not bad at all. And it's hard not to get down on yourself. So, like even if the goals aren't your fault, like even if you don't have D in front of you, when the goals go in, you can't help as a goalie to just you know blame yourself in a way. So I'm glad he kept his confidence up. So yeah, those, those X factors okay. are brutal. They those all feel bad though. <laughs> Just an update. Uh, they're still waiting on Hetsy, so. Okay. That's okay. We can fill. No worries. <laughs> but yeah, no matter how many goals go in, man, they always feel bad when you're playing goal. They always feel like you're full. Of... <laughs> yeah, especially and, when you're and, playing. Oop. And okay. Jim Chad is already going off this evening, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> <laughs> This is when I. Spicy. Oh, just. I don't need to go on. You can, you can, <laughs> you can look for yourself. It's, uh, <laughs> makes me, makes me not feel as educated. You know, oh. whilst reading that. I think the injured reserves are the ones going off on chat. That's yeah. no surprise. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Yeah, we don't talk about the power play jingle, you know. It's just uh, I, I don't I don't have a decent enough special team coach over here in St. John, you know. Okay, you guys are putting up the numbers on five on five though, we, so that's we what can't uh, we, we can't afford to pay we can't afford that guy on the payroll, you know. Hmm. They only give Who, you so much for a budget here, so. What are you uh, expecting out of Elmer tonight? Uh, new uh, pickup there. So. I don't know. I haven't seen him. I haven't played well with him a couple. Of, I, I literally <laughs> don't know. Like, I, I haven't seen him play in like in a couple of seasons. So I used to play with him in uh, ICHL back in the day. So well, I can tell you a little bit. Uh, last night uh, he made his debut and took a couple penalties, one being a major. No, so well, um, maybe he'll <laughs> like to change up his build and you know maybe go a little bit smaller. But I mean, he can usually play anywhere at a high level, uh, similar to Dad Smith, who's opposite of him. He's a good guy. Elmer slash Fudd slash Ram. He's got a few names. Yeah, yeah, you, names. Know, you know. He's changing Elmer. the name. <laughs> Elmer Fudd. <laughs> pretty sure that's his, I'm pretty sure that's his in-game name. Be very, uh... very quiet. I'm hunting for rabbits. <laughs> <laughs> we are hunting when... rabbits tonight. Yeah. <laughs> when, uh... like... <laughs> wow, yeah. Very good, Hoagie. Very good. Woodstock <laughs> in for Heartsea. No. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. What happened? Woodstock and for hard tea. Oh, uh, okay. Well, I gotta get my magic marker here. <laughs> <laughs> well, I didn't do any research on Woodstock. He plays forward normally. God damn it. He's got good defense in front of him. He'll be fine. Yeah, I was gonna say, I think he plays center the most. Okay. I think he's kind of been that, uh, that utility guy for him this season. Same thing with Big Rig. Well, well, luckily, uh, with this little delay, I've been able to choke down another beer, so <laughs> do for another one pretty soon before uh, CN gets a stream on. Are you checking on him? You drinking your mid goldens? No, I got a little red stripe. No brands, no brands, no brands. Oh, I'm We're sorry, you're right. Your <laughs> oh, McDoodles? <my> <laughs> your golden doodles? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we don't promote for free. Yeah, I'm drinking oh, that beer, on. I was gonna say, I'm wearing a spam shirt, but okay, we'll just kind of cover it. <laughs> <laughs> well, That's um, okay, we can give uh, some free publicity to Red Stripe. I feel like they don't get enough <laughs> advertisement anymore, you know? 
fair, fair. Yeah, because they don't pay out the money. <laughs> oh. Yes. They got a good fucking uh, beer, though, man. I like it. It's uh, good on a summer day. It's uh, pretty humid here, so. I'll say, my, we used to drink Red Stripe when we went fishing, so that's what it always makes me think of. <laughs> As an ice house boy. Mm. Or man, I guess. I, I did not underage drink. <laughs> Look at you, so responsible. <laughs> <laughs> or you mean you're just you don't want it recorded? <laughs> oh, I just gave free. I broke my own damn rule. Damn it! <laughs> they even make ice house anymore? I don't. Know. I, don't I don't know, know what that is. I don't yeah. even know what that is <laughs> either. I was gonna say. You might have well as just said. I was say, well, even... <laughs> I was like, I'm even from Illinois, like you, and I was like, I don't remember an ice house, but. Anything that has ice in it, though, is pretty, pretty nasty. Yeah, Ice Mountain. We don't want. We don't want them as a, as a sponsor. Terrible. No, water. I was just thinking of like Keystone Ice <laughs> and like all all of those like frat beers and stuff. Ugh. They, should be, they should be setting very soon. I don't know what's going on here. Um, Apologies to the, the millions and millions of fans watching the game of the week. You know, we've it's got a, nine people. I stomp. Red dog. Oh god. Yeah, red dog. <laughs> <Mad> dog. <laughs> What's up, Stumpy? What's up, baby? Let's fucking go, baby. Let's go. <laughs> no stream from CN. Am I still seeing that right? Yeah, I don't think so. But he's oh, in the chat, yeah. so oh, he knows good. what's up. CN, turn on your stream. Unless you guys are doing something sus. Uh, Whoop. I guess we can dive back in, into the lineups. Uh, Thike taking face-offs tonight, better known as TJ. Tej. One of the Bar League OGs. Always gets other centers trouble on draws, uh, but mostly because uh, he relies on the server. He's almost unbeatable on face-offs when he has ping on you. Uh, very frustrating to play against. You basically can have perfect timing and even the correct counter, and it just doesn't matter because you know, he's closer to the server. Not jealous. Good player, and he's got some chemistry with Hoagie, and uh, you know they won that season together. Was it season four? I think maybe? season four. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so they got some chemistry going back, we, and uh, we came tricky. back from being down three to one uh, against the Sunfish that season to win. I remember that. <laughs> Both of you guys, uh, avid threes players, definitely got some chem going. You guys have been playing for a couple of years now. Yeah, I mean, TJ and the Highlanders for two seasons. Back on the day. Well, I'm going to hop out and try to play some hockey. So. Hey, good, good luck, luck, sir. Luck. Good luck. Thank you, guys. Yeah, and it looks like we have CN up now. Yeah, so. baby. Hopefully, uh, they don't get too wrapped up in each other's eyes because on the left side, we got McTricky. Uh, McTricky being one of those guys Jingle and I carried to a cup in season five. <laughs> 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 no shame. <laughs> Struggling a bit this season, but I think that's largely due to the fact he was unhappy with uh, with the injury reserve management. No doubt he's glad to be away from there. Mm -hmm. This is his second time being on stream. Last time the IR, uh, he's with the IR scooping up that game winner on a high one T. Actually, I think that was against the Swamp Rabbits. So I wouldn't be surprised if the Sea Dogs actually work to get that high one T again. Should be open. The switcher over. Find him. Switch her over to the live screen here. We got the uh, game starting in about six seconds. I'm going to be right and back. There's a pen. Yep, for being late. I'll be right back. Technically, they could have taken a forfeit even if they were that late. So they could potentially take two pens. We'll see if uh, Hopefully that's they're not feeling the generous or not. <laughs> yeah, as we mentioned before, both these teams pretty abysmal, unspecial teams. So should be able to look at a high one T. I'm a little bit. I'm a little bit ahead. <laughs> Should I reload here? Should I reload? Yep, possibly. Um, up to you. I'll say nothing's Get really happening. Get a quick reload. <laughs> surprise, surprise. Good. Okay, and here we are. In the first period already, we jumped about a minute and a half. <laughs> <Whoa>. <laughs> Started on the power play as the uh, Sea Dogs who had a. Penalty from the Swamp Rabbits for being late. Keep your head up, kid. 
Yep. Uh, basically, good to see both defensemen on the ice again, Elmer and, uh, you know, Dasmith being uh, some fan favorites, I, I think. Both good guys and can play anywhere. And the that power, power play. Already over. <laughs> yeah. Already gone. No surprise. And you're just tuning in. We have the Swamp Rabbits versus the Sea Dogs here. Still in the first. 16 left. Ogie get, tries to get the dunk off, but looks like he got stick lifted there. Sarge bringing it up the middle to King Quick. Little fancy movement there and a nice shot from the point, but hits the post. Nice try by Sarge. Best defender. Behind the net, CN gets it almost cross crease. I like that little play there. That's my favorite too when I'm playing that, that right defense. Look at that high one T. Ogie tries to sneak one in there from the point. Big tricky going between the legs. Gets a pass yeah, off, and that's going to that yeah. me. Bounce off, and then that's going to count. Yeah, I was looking for the ref to call that off, but that's going to be uh, Tyke scoring his goal there for the Seahawks. No Dogs. doubt. That was, uh, that was homage to me. That, that was my favorite thing to do is play between my legs. It's, <laughs> it's goal number 17 for TJ. Nice. Sweden the league in hits, too. Pretty good. Uh, yeah. Good margin, too. Right. Him and McTricky together can be pretty dangerous. TJ just scored that goal, but uh, he's leading the team in assists. As hey, he loves this <laughs> yeah. so, Oh, Hoagie with a breakaway. Oh, oh, Hoagie oh. dunking that for close quarters. 2 nothing goes the Sea Dogs. Quick succession. Yeah, that's what we like. We like to see the five on five. No penalties. No more penalties, please. This is good action. Just like TJ had the most assists, Hoagie has the most goals. That is number 26 for him. I mean, he plays the most games, but uh, no small feet. No small feet. To be fair, oh. to be fair, he does. Hoagie said it earlier. He said they were going for rabbit hunting, and uh, it is 2 <laughs> nothing for the Sea Dogs right now. Big Greg up to JP Nasty, and that's going to cut it in half right there. Man. JP Nasty's nasty. Snipes Chad and just completely deflates that 2 nothing lead. Cuts it in half to 2-1. The trade deadline being extended another week. Uh, they basically really benefited from that. Just They made that trade last week for JP Ness. That was their one piece they were missing was that goal scorer. And yeah, he is. Uh, he's sick. Chad and chat right now. You should be focusing on the game, sir. <laughs> <laughs> No, JP Nasty only has 10 games played. This would be number 11, and yet he's leading the Rabbits in points. And no doubt leading in goals as well. Actually, with that one, yes, he is. He <laughs> will have, That's goal number 18 for him. He knows how to bury him. Sea Dogs, here comes Elmer, the new addition for their team. And quick slows it down a little bit. CN drives, gets it over to the big rig who dumps it deep. Dad Smith, nice little turn behind the net. Leads the break to Tyke. Tyke can't find his partner there, but he does have a nice four check. Dad Smith back to the point. About to be offside, so. <laughs> yeah. Swamp Rabbits uh, deal with that pressure quite nicely. Sarge gets a dump down, but Dad Smith's the only one there. Interesting uh, slap shot there. I might have maybe going for an Omaha, but. And just some little ping pong action in the neutral zone. Elmer tries to settle it down. That's going to be icing. Oh, yeah, who close, but yeah, icing on the Sea Dogs. Uh, definitely look uh, for the Sea Dogs to kind of pressure Sarge there. Uh, he's been known to hang, hang on to that puck a little bit longer. I know we talked about that a couple weeks ago, but uh, he's been a giveaway machine. Tie up by goal, and that's going to be a tie up. Watch that. Tie, right in. In. tie up with a dumped. tie up. <laughs> Juke two everyone two. Out. And that's what? Number 19 now? 19. Close quarters, though. So broken. <laughs> that last one wasn't. That was just a pure snipe. True. But, yeah, I was going to say, he just walked in there, and there was no pressure. Everyone just was like, oh, you have the puck. Let's run away. 
It's 2-2. Two, two. This is an interesting first period already. We got a little over five minutes to go. McTricky looking to get something going. Hoagie, little swirl, but can't find anybody cross crease. And JP Nasty's going the other way. Three on three. And that's stolen by McTricky. Good back check. Here comes Tyke. Tyke has a shot off. Nice save by Woodstock near side. Tyke still possessing it. Dadsmith gets a shot from the point that's blocked. And then Hoagie with a follow up, but goes wide. Little dunk, but nice save by Woodstock. JP Nasty beelines it towards the net. Little spin move, but he's met by two dudes. <laughs> Still has the puck. <laughs> CN with a shot from the point that goes pretty wide. And still some good pressure by the Swamp Rabbits here. A little under two minutes to go, yeah. Here's that point. Oh, and they did oh, take a penalty, no. yeah. <laughs> TJ. We knew we can hits, and that's the reason why. Well, here's your power play stats for the uh, Swamp Rabbits that aren't very, not very impressive. Mm -hmm. uh, fifth in the league, 15%. It's not great. Fifth out of sixth. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> you got to clarify. <laughs> and the Swamp Rabbits are six out of six. <laughs> Good <laughs> dump, though, by the Sea Dogs there. Their PK is actually four, so not. Ooh. Completely bottom of the barrel. McTricky trying to get a spin move off. See, that's the reason why. <laughs> <laughs> just need to settle it down. You know, cycle the puck around. I think I think they should be should be all right. I think they can turn around this power play. Only got thirty seconds left in the period. <gasps> Oof. Good save by Woodstock. Tries to throw it out there. I like it. It's August. Let him play. <laughs> <laughs> Let him play. No RP. Similar to like how the first power play of the game was, it's almost like the other team, the team that just got penalized, is the one having the advantage. I feel like it's staying on the other end. Uh, do we have shorthanded goal stats? No. Oh, no. no, that's too much. <laughs> too much. Too much. Man. <laughs> you can you can work on those if you'd like. <laughs> See some EA EA bounces at the end of that period, but yeah, that was fun. Good period. Mm -hmm. uh, you yeah, could probably get those. Do we get those or no? We don't get shorthanders, right? No, technically not. I think it, I don't even know that the game records them. Um, it will be on the same page that you get your power play goals from, actually. Okay, well, I so do you very to go back. Yeah, yeah. The next season, thing. next season. Uh, we, we like to <laughs> reduce his advanced unless stats. Unless you want to do stats. <laughs> yeah, well, Chad so, says it best. So. Yeah, what he, whatever he said to uh, Mac Daddy Shrimp today. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like Swamp Rabbits have perfect passing. Gotta love it. Yep, that's it. It's a secret to uh, success. Let's see if it works out for him in the second period. It's two to two. What a hell of a first period, though. This uh, the one's hoping to not disappoint tonight. Yeah. Well, I didn't get a chance to look at those uh, face-off numbers. I was curious <laughs> to see that. Well, I'm sure we'll see it right when the puck drops up here. They tend to. Oh, never mind. It's like it's 6 it's 5 in favor of the Sea Dogs. So, King Quick uh, hanging in tough with TJ. I wonder if uh, he's on the wrong server. <laughs> Top rabbits are just a bit under 10 to go, and JP can't get that near post. Good save by Chad. Power play is over. Here comes Hoagie to the point. It's that block. There's too many guys there. Yeah, tricky wide open. That high one T. Lucky on the other way that JP wasn't hit directly, too. He had the break. Elmer's getting harassed there, but nice, nice way to kind of shimmy that forward. CN drives it, gets it cross crease, but I can't believe he didn't get that shot off. JP Nasty gets tripped. That's going to be another penalty on the Sea Dogs. Oh, damn it. <laughs> Yikes. It's hard, though. Once you get beat, you get sloppy. Yeah. So. Uh, it's, I mean, it's, not, it's never a bad time to take a penalty in front of the net. Mm -hmm. That puck bouncing all over the place. You just want to make sure the other team doesn't grab it. That was a good penalty. I can't believe he didn't get that one tee off or that shot off real quick. 
good out those, by as a Smith. goalie those uh those kind of just shots down to the other end of the ice always freak me out because you can't see it sometimes if you're not watching the right area and watch it go in interference right <laughs> Back to some four on four where uh, right, both of so these teams are right. best at even, so. I can get behind this. Little open ice here. We like it. Face off in the Swamp Rabbit zone. Tyke's been pretty good on the draws, at least uh, from the eye test tonight. And he wins that straight back, but unfortunately not able to get it connected to Hoagie. Dad Smith looking a little slow there, getting beat up by JP Nasty. Sarge up to JP towards the middle. Nice little poke by Dad Smith. Behind the I net, like though. Is he always sticks with the play? Like, I feel like he is, he's got the most hustle. He's always down there, like, even if he's going for the shot or he has to go back for D. Yeah, he's a menace back there. Holy smokes, McTricky just can't find the net there. I nice think that was quick make tricky with the feed, actually. Oh, was it? Oh, shoot. But I can't believe that one didn't go in, though. It's a nice feed. Dad Smith back to Tyke, trying to get some normalcy here, but still back and forth. King Quick drives it to the net. Little wiggle behind the net is Big Rig. Haven't seen much from him tonight, either. It's prime time. Let's see what he can do. Gets it across to JP Nasty. That gets it blocked in the point. McTricky still having a hard time on that side. Finds a little space. Back to the point. Dad Smith twirls around. Drives to the net. Gets it to the point. That's going in the middle. Oh, yeah. It's a tight. What a tip. That was a hoagie go if I've ever seen one coming from TJ there. It's like they, they didn't turn on the skip re they didn't turn off the skip replays. No, oh. it's too bad. Well, we'll have to remind them next time, like five minutes before the game. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They're probably just so excited to finally match up. How many is that for TJ? <laughs> <laughs> uh, quick TJ's? wins that thing. Yeah, I was gonna say that is his 18th goal of the season, I did believe. Little competition between him and JP Nasty right now. <laughs> well, to be fair, he has almost double the games. Another penalty on the Sea Dogs. Think anyone's Dark Joe? <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's true. It's What's he at, like twenty-seven or something? Uh, <laughs> something uh -huh. crazy. Yeah. I think he might be in the thirties already. Yeah, he's got thirty-nine going into the night. Yeah, that's nuts. Mm-hmm. Well, Swamp this Rabbit's again. not too far behind him. He's got 31. He's always usually up there. Yeah, I think uh, his numbers have kind of dec decreased this season just because he's been playing a little bit more center. Uh, he doesn't have the, he's got more responsibility and just scores a wing. He's a great left winger. Uh, probably one of the best when he's there. Yeah, plus he's playing on the Hogs, which is, um, they're not doing too bad by any means. They're in fourth place, but I think that took them a little bit to find their rhythm, so. For sure. Well, I mean, they're either in the playoffs or out, or out of the playoffs because the Clappers aren't <laughs> making it, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> Just <save> me, so. <laughs> so they won other you know spot. I, I'm totally fine being proven wrong. <laughs> plenty of time, plenty of time. Good clear by Tyke with about 40 left in the uh, power play here for the Swamp Rabbits. Definitely some of my favorite guys on the Clappers. Ooh. Oh my god, what a save by Chad. Good spread eagle there. The dirty bird. And that power play is over. Here comes JP Nasty though, drives to the net and he pushes that through. That oh. is unfortunate. Is that a Hattie for him tonight? I do believe that so. That is, yeah. Uh, Power play ends and they score. That's perfect, perfect numbers there. Yeah. With science. Helps, helps, for, the, helps for the stats. <laughs> what a great game so far, though. Just back and forth S action. Stuffed at five hole. 
I don't know about your guys' arena, but when we get a hat trick over at the Excel with the Wild, um, the Hockey Lodge has all hats a quarter or 25% off, so you can go buy a new mm. one. Nice. It's a good idea. That was perfect. Yeah, what do they do with all those other hat hats, back. too? So uh, they collect them, actually, and at the end of the game, it's honor system. You go and you try to find your hat again. They dump it out on a table by the guest services, and you dig through it. Which, uh, it's honor system, and, uh, sometimes people aren't so honorable. Yeah. Some of my friends have walked out with multiple hats, and I'm like, <laughs> I didn't even come here with one, bud. I know, but... back, back in the 90s, uh, the Blackhawks used to give, um, give the hats to yeah. the player that got the hat trick. And they're like, what am I supposed also... to do with these? What am I supposed to do with these? What... Yeah. <laughs> I think they, um, I think they used to, I think Chad said, because he works for Calgary and the Flames, and he says that they sanitize them and give them to um, oh. the homeless shelter, too. But for us um, at the Wild, I'm pretty sure it's like you grab your hats and then we do the same thing. I don't think I would go and retrieve my hat. <laughs> I, I had a custom hat. I definitely went yeah. to bought someone over so they had my hat and i was like no this is definitely mine because i ha i like spilled beer on it so i like had a stain and i was like this is mine and it fit perfectly in my head and i was like booyah yeah, if there's a sombrero in there i'm definitely taking it too <laughs> <laughs> back to the action here let's almost a minute to go in the second still three three here Swamp Rabbit's having a hard time getting out of the zone. Nice little forecheck by the Sea Dogs. Oh, I thought that was offside, so it's still on. Nice poke. But Sarge is offside here, and we got 10 seconds left in the second. The Sea Dogs playing really good blue line defense there. I think that's like the ninth or 10th offsides we've seen from them. So definitely having trouble for the Swamp Rabbits. And yet the score is tied, so not that much trouble. <laughs> Five seconds left. Ogie drives to the center. Dad Smith gets a shot off that gets blocked. <laughs> I'm not a three. passionate person. It's like you touch the puck. I'm like, shoot it. There's only like oh, 10 seconds left. Me, me and Jingo <laughs> have some, some, some hard feelings on that. <laughs> I'll say even in the live game, sometimes I get a little obnoxious telling people to shoot. And I'm just like, stop. You're not a professional. And in yeah. Chell, you play goalie. So just shoot. Yeah, well, definitely when we're playing play. defense, uh, one of the most annoying things is when uh, your forwards tell you to shoot. It's, it's just like, just let me do my... I'm not five <laughs> years old. I know when to shoot and when not to. But if the time is up, just throw it on net. You might get lucky. <laughs> I'm always in favor of that extra pass. Oof. It's brutal, man. Just let the guy think, you know? Let him do his <laughs> thing. You know? It's like when you go to a hockey game and people are screaming, yeah, shoot it from the blue line, you know, like every time, like they get, you know, every time your team gets the puck and it's, it's like, just lady, sh sit down, just sit down. Let me <laughs> okay, watch the game. Let them think. <laughs> to be it's fair, not always a lady. It's not always a lady. For the perfect shot. And I'm like, Hey, just throw it on net and get that rebound. But yeah, sometimes I say, um, my husband has to be like, Shut up and sit down. Right. There, there could be no one within 15 feet of you, and uh, you, you know you hang on to the puck for a second longer than you usually do, and the forwards are like, shoot it, and you do, and it's blocked by three people. Yeah. Right, you or let the these... D-man, like, how good is your shot even, yeah. so. Yeah, let these finesse players do their thing, man. Let, let them do it. <laughs> You're into the third. 3-3. Three, three. This is a great game right now. Big hit in the neutral zone. Sarge is down. He's injured. Nice little spinner on by McTricky. It's hit open ice, and then JP finds it up to Big Rig. Tries to get a LT, and then that's going to be offsides on JP. It's like gold truculence coming in the factor there. Ooh, buddy. Woof. Truculence? Is it a Psycho. bull or is it a yeah. rabbit, man? I can't yeah. tell. I think okay, it looks well, it's, like it's, bull. It's definitely a bull. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you yeah. could be fast like a rabbit. What? <laughs> Turtle win the race, right? <laughs> <laughs> You're a <it's> a turtle. <laughs> I see uh, another stoppage here. Things I'm slowing done. down a little bit. You know what? I sometimes I think that teams are just like, "Hey, we're tied. Like, let's just get the extra point." You know? And it's like, no. I don't think anyone thinks win. like that, Sammy. 
I this year. definitely, this year. <laughs> I definitely this year. sometimes I'm like, let's just get that point. Oh, <laughs> we got oh, the Swamp Rabbits on the power play again. Lord. Sea Dogs are just throwing out that candy. Yeah, they draw the most penalties and the Sea Dogs take them. And it's just unfortunately can't really capitalize. So uh, we'll see you in two minutes when uh, action picks up again. <laughs> King Quick's been better on the draw. Nice tie up. Big Rick finds the net. Ooh. Drives in. We got a 4 3 game now. Missed our first power play goal. This, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Usually known for uh, hanging on to the puck a little too long. Hasn't been, really been producing this season, but there. Hangs on to a half second longer. A little left, right. Gets a pass, Jed. Good goal. Big Rick's been doing all right. He's got uh, seven. This is 18th goal of the season. I mean, I know he's been their utility guy. I didn't know. Uh, yeah, maybe he's been putting up some some points. He's there. actually set behind JP Nasty in points just by well, I guess behind by two since JP's got the Hattie tonight. But yeah, I know he's had some good games uh, forward here and there. But uh, yeah, that's yeah, he's that's he's that's a quiet asking. player. Yeah. Those are the ones you got to watch out for. Here he comes again, though. One on one. Gets slammed in the middle. <laughs> it's he's JP behind the net. Going. Oh, nice save by Chad. Staying strong. Up. You got to keep your team in the game right now. Four on three. It's four to three. Nice save. He's standing strong. Just it watching that. It's like, please get a clear. <laughs> <laughs> I think Chad giving his team some momentum here. Down the middle, there's McTricky looking to do something. Yeah, nice breakup. McTricky a little quiet this game. He's bound for something to go his way. Elmer decides to slow it down a touch. About halfway through the period here. Tyke to, I think that was Hoagie on that side. Or no, is that McTricky still? I can't uh, tell the Mitch numbers. Mitch but... still on there. <laughs> Ugh. Nice saves by Chad. He is. Oh no, that's oh, count. That, that can't be going in. Oh no, that's... that can't be going in. Oh, yeah, we're good. We're good. Chad. Oh yeah, is... oh, yeah. look at that. He's just yeah. getting absolutely beat up. Just gave him a hip thrust right off. to his head. <laughs> Chad is definitely keeping his team in the game right now. Needs his players to find an equalizer here. Well, Let's see if McTricky has it. Getting hit. They're having a hard time in the zone now, right now. JP just giving them all sorts of trouble there in the in the office. McTricky tries to get across crease, can't find Hoagie. King quick and still manages to keep it on side. It's good on him. Chad gets it deep, but no icing. Called off. Sarge gets it intercepted in the neutral zone. Sea Dogs trying to find their way back into this game. Four to three for the Swamp Rabbit's favor. McTricky with a little disconnect. Still having a hard time finding his way right now in this game. I think he's losing his confidence. Dad Smith a gets a shot off. It so almost goes near ago. side. Oh, and back. That's going to kill that momentum there. They're resetting, resetting. They're relying on that forecheck. JP looking for that center. Looks like they're blocking that now. Oh, and we almost had a breakaway, but that's going to be icing. Another momentum killer there. I think I know what, uh, what's been struggling with McTricky. Uh, CN's not really known for hitting, and he is really weighing the body on him uh, this, this game. He's really stepping up at that blue line instead of that poke check. He's, he's weighing the lumber. AP draws it off to CN. Throws around, gets a sh nice pass D to D to Sarge, and they're going to connect on that 5-3 to three Swamp Rabbits awesome. with a minute 30 to go. That was only Sarge's fifth goal, even though this is his 24th game. <laughs> yeah, he's winning the weekend games played, that's for sure. And giveaways. No, I'm just kidding. 
<laughs> well, to be fair, he's playing D, so I guess you're not supposed to produce as much uh, goal-wise, but still. You know, last two games for Sarge, uh, he has been cutting back uh, on turnovers. I think he's only got seven giveaways. Because you keep calling him out, man. <laughs> Hope so. I'm getting to him. Just a nice job curling around and finding that D to D. You can't ask much more from Chad. He was pretty stellar this period, hoping to try to keep his team, you know, close enough to get that that lead back or that at least tie it. That's the first time they've gone D to D all game, so I'm not surprised Chad wasn't ready for it, and fours weren't on it either. Tough one. On a minute left. A long minute, minute though. We have a four on three. Tricky gets it to the net. That could be trouble. Ooh. And somehow King Quick finds it out. And JP Nasty going the other way. Oh, Spin no. move to Big Rig. Oh. And a great save by Chad. Oh. Way to stay with the Chad. That's but there's terrifying. Only, <laughs> it's only 30 seconds left. And oh man, we got Can't three on out. two three on, on one. one. Oh my god. <laughs> Look this at Chad crazy. swapping around. <laughs> Just button mashing, making saves. <laughs> the tricky gets poked in the neutral zone. Big Rig tries to slow it down up to Quick Rig. Uh, quick, what the heck is his name? <laughs> King, King Quick. quick. <laughs> King Quick. Oh no. <laughs> quick Rig. <laughs> I mean, hey, that was a good duo, man. Good pass. <laughs> quick Rig, their new, their new couple it's, name. <laughs> it's a nice, simple move. A little backhand, forehand, close quarters action. That's gonna. That's always a tough goal. Poor Chad. He's been standing on his head the whole game. Just falling apart here in the last few minutes of the third. You know what, though? His team hasn't scored this period, so there's not much he can really do. He can save all he wants, but they're never going to win if uh, they don't score. That's tough. They're just Ooh, right right on there now. All right. Maybe Chad just kind of put his controller down. <laughs> this game a lot closer. Got a little bored. Yeah. Defense got a little bored there and started going for hits. Definitely happens. I hate when that when your D kind of leaves you out to dry towards the end of the game. Nothing worse than getting scored on in the final like 10 seconds of the period. Yeah, this game a lot closer than it seems right now. Uh, this third Score. period just kind of opened up a little bit, but. Yeah. Scoreboard not telling the whole story. A little bit of puck ragging here. But <laughs> last <laughs> five seconds, not, too, not big of a deal. Not when you're up by that much either. <laughs> yeah, this was a hell of a game, though. Um, hopefully, if you didn't tune in for that one, I think we got a seven to three final for the Swamp Rabbits. Yeah, the big rig uh, with that game-winning goal off that tie-up. Uh, TJ usually a pretty good. Uh, uh, he's got he's got some face-off play, so I'm not sure why he wouldn't be uh, stick whipped in there to counter that. But you know, he gets caught, tie up, and yeah, big rig just walked it in. The dogs were home too, so they should have had server priority. Maybe oh, TJ's not, and maybe, and maybe he didn't get a. That could be. It's a great game, though, besides all those penalties. <laughs> well, one of them was for being late, so that doesn't. Yeah. Great answer. Uh, yeah. That I think they took uh, took the game 2-0 last time, so definitely a lot more scoring in this game. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, we broke our streak of shutting out last game, and then a uh, bit of a blowout at the end. Yeah, Woodstock really holding his own. Uh, I thought that was going to be a uh, smoke. I mean, he's mm -hmm. good defense by Swamp Rabbits. Screenshots. Let's see how he does. Yeah. Just one more. Keep scooting over. Keep. There you go. Take your. Next, take your screenshot, bud. Next there week I'll go. get this replay <laughs> thing going. I I fucked it up again this week, but you can see it now, like how it's transitioning. But I I I messed up the the uh, the sources. So next week we'll have some uh, replay for you. So. Sorry, only yeah. four giveaways. Okay. Damn. Yeah, he had a good game, and he had that goal. Yeah. Um, there too that really kind of separated those two teams to make it a 5-3 lead too yeah 82 percent on passing oh you definitely uh okay three shots that game yeah 
Yeah, both those first two periods, they were just going hacking at each other back and forth. It was a really, really fun game to watch. And that third period just kind of opened up a little bit. Um, the, I think the Sea Dogs just took too many penalties tonight, too. Yeah, there was one. Uh, I think the Swamp Rose were one for four in the power play. So, I mean, not too impressive, but uh, actually better than they've done all season. So. Yeah, but it Percentage takes away going from up. that O time too, you know. Yeah. So. Uh, surprisingly, the Sea Dogs actually had more time on attack than the Swamp Rabbits. So just a lot of fast breaks. Wow. No kidding. They'll figure it out. Oh, they're both contending teams for sure. So, you know, the Clappers aren't making it. So. We got uh... <laughs> <laughs> so you know you oh, really boy, only <laughs> you really only have one other team that's not going to make the playoffs. So you know you got four spots there, six teams. So you know you got pretty good chances there with uh, only you know one slot already being you know just tied to the Clappers. So I think uh, I think we'll probably see the Sea Dogs and the Swamp Rabbits so in the playoffs this year. I, I want to say with only two weeks left, so they they both seem like pretty strong teams. And yeah, I don't Tuesdays... really know uh, who's gonna who's gonna take it. Um, I, each team's beating each other every night. It's not like one team's running away with it. So we'll see. If yeah. the standings stay how they are, though, um, the Swamp Rabbits and the Sea Dogs won't play each other the first round. So it'll be a good final. Champion, yeah, it'll be the championship. I'd be interested to see how the uh, IR did this uh, does this week, and that might play a telling source to see because I think the Hogs are kind of on that fourth place fringe there with the IR. So both teams have talent, but IR I think has a lot of talent and just obviously they, they might have the most talented of, roster. Uh, IR had a might lot most, of forfeits. Yeah. Right. So we'll see. Should be interesting. Uh, we got. One more uh, day in week five here, and then just a couple more weeks left in the season. So, uh, again, you saw the uh, Sea Dogs and the Swamp Rabbits tonight, but go in the Swamp Rabbits' favor this time. I can't remember. Uh, I think the Swamp Rabbits won the last matchup that we uh, had this, these teams play against each yeah, other as too well. well. So, yeah. yeah. So, I'm sure it's not going to be the last time that we see these two play. Um, hopefully not, because I'd love to see them play in the playoffs. It'd be a great matchup again. Um, and, uh, I don't see anybody else in the chat, so uh, we might sign off here. Yeah, uh, yeah uh, you know, still two and a half weeks of the season left. Uh, you know, plenty of time to sign up, get on a team. You know, a couple playoff team out. Be good, good stuff. Right. Like we were saying earlier, even if you uh, come in late, you can still play in the playoffs. So We don't discriminate. <laughs> <laughs> Again, this is uh, Bar League Hockey. Um, the uh, official, what are we, the Twitch channel of Bar League Hockey. This is, <laughs> and our uh, YouTube. <laughs> and YouTube, yeah. And uh, this is uh, Sammy on your right here. Uh, I'm assuming that the uh, directionals are correct uh, when you're <laughs> here we're watching. Uh, you got uh, greatness there in the background there, working the lights and the curtain. And uh, and my <laughs> myself, Jingle Juice. We'll see uh, all the beautiful people uh, next week, probably Wednesday next week then. Back to the norm. Back to the Wednesday. Should Sounds be fine. Good. Okay. All right. Well, thanks for joining us again this week. Uh, it was a pleasure. That was a hell of a game. Uh, next week, maybe we'll get the Clappers or the Bulls or something. Uh, we'll see uh, what's next. But thank you for joining us. Uh, see you next week, baby. Later. See ya. <laughs>